When I say the word impersonation, a lot of examples from media might come to mind. Stolen identity could be a popular theme in comedy and drama, or a helpful tool for misinformers to deceive people. Jim from The Office once dressed up as Dwight and impersonated him to get a reaction. The humor comes from Dwight's fear, for whatever reason, that Jim was trying to steal his identity. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. If successful, what would happen? Jim starts by stating facts that aren't Dwight's opinion. Fact. Bears eat beets. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. This is similar to how misinformers might use the appearance of a reputable website to make their misinformation sound more credible. Sometimes that might be saying it in a similar way as an organization or person, or mixing in some reputable facts to make the misinformation sound like it's true. In the film Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams dresses up as an older Scottish woman to fool his ex-wife and be able to watch his children. He would the whole time! It makes sense that he chooses a type of person who is generally trusted and thought to be safe. Hello! Ah! When a misinformer is trying to make you believe something, they may attempt to trick you into thinking they're safe to believe in. But there will be signs that something's not quite right. In AI development, we're starting to see a lot of videos where something that you thought was real turns into a miniature fantasy right before your eyes. Misinformers can use this technology to make us think something happened when it didn't through digital impersonation. Even though misinformers might be good at using tactics like impersonation to spread their message, you can look for signs that they may not be who they're pretending to be. Use of emotional language, typos, copying a reputable source's logo and style, or using a reputable hashtag are a few examples. For more tips, check out our post on spotting five common misinformer tactics. The link is in our caption.